Hey guys, I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and any questions, just let me know. This is a 2007 Jeep Wrangler. Um, um, I'm having some issues with um, some sensors. They were okay before I rebuilt the engine. The engine is fine. I mean, I'm not getting anything on O2 sensor, no voltage, nothing like that. But when I test the wires over here, you know, it kind of works on the computer. Um, I found some wires. I mean, somebody probably messed with these before. <laughs> they were a little corroded. They were kind of green. Um, right here, this is a, don't think it's a positive. I'm, I just got to spray that. It's a ground. Um, there was a ground from the computer. Somehow they put it on this side. I mean, right behind this. In between plastic and that little metal clip i mean but what i did is i put a shorter one over here from the body right here i sand that area clean it up pretty good and i put the ground but the ground was like from here to here and the computer needs ground um because um you got you got like this o2 sensors right here it's got it on ground some cars get the ground on the body on the exhaust and stuff like that but not on these ones but i'm gonna show you i mean always check these i found over here before wires they were kind of green color i mean they were all corroded um i changed my ground too i put another one on top of the alternator because after i put the motor it didn't want to crank so i put a i put again the ground from the from the block right i'm getting over here excuse me guys but i put the ground from the from the block over here on this one i don't know if you can see it right there um i paint it but i still put the grounds in and it wasn't cranking and then I I was like, let me try something else. I put it on the block and I put a ground on the block on the heads and then it cranked. So now I'm checking all these wires. I'm gonna be replacing the ground that it comes from the battery to there. But then I found out these wires over here, I just strip them and clean them. They were all corroded. Let me see if I got the plug over here somewhere. to show you guys i know i had it somewhere over here but they were they were pretty bad they were pretty bad i mean i gotta pull it out either open it and clean it and put it back over there so i could ground it again but or maybe i'll put another connector i'm in an area that's kind of uncomfortable but always check these grounds around i mean there's nothing wrong with putting new wire stickers you know to the block and stuff like that but this one, I'm gonna be replacing it right here, which is the ground coming from the battery to the motor. See how thin it is? But this one and the other one, you can see the green and the, the wires were all like almost cracking, cracked or something like that. So that's ground for a bunch of sensors back there and stuff, you know, maybe on the transmission, which it was giving me codes too so i'm about to do that so like i said this is a 2007 jeep wrangler i mean 3.8 so i mean i hope this fix a lot of problem but any questions just let me know i mean but like i said always check those grounds around whatever is to the body if you need to cut them and strip them and put them together and put a new connector or something like that do that if you need to replace the the, the wires from the batteries to the block and put anything thicker and then put another jump another ground from the block if you want to if you want to because you will get ground here but if you want to put another one in the transmission a little piece you know that won't hurt and to the body of the jeep you know i mean believe me i had problems with this ground it didn't want to crank and also um after it crank the motor was like hesitating the charter was really bad and stuff like that and after i put the ground that i show you guys to the alternator on the top right there in that moment instantly it just got better right away 
So always check for grounds. Even if you know that you change um, sensors and it's still got giving you a problem, there's no power or something like that. Check your grounds. Always check your ground. Always check your grounds. I mean, I got a bunch of wires over here that I put new ones, like these ones. This is the one that's going to the head. This is the one that's going to the alternator right here. You know, I got to organize them better. But this is how my Jeep came. My Jeep came with these thin wires, you know, all this like this. So right now, um, what I'm doing is changing. So when I did the throttle, I guess, when I grounded that area, um, I instantly, right away, my, my, my throttle started working fine. Everything was good right away. But this is the ground that it had before. If you see that, that's only a little bit there. But this is the one that was in the computer. I think that is very crappy. You see that? So what I did is I replaced it with this one right here. So any question, just let me know. I'm troubleshooting this Jeep. I've been doing this for, for a while. And I found a lot of problems, you know, that people go through. If you got any question, just let me know. Um, thank you. Um, please um, like and share. Any questions, just let me know. Thank you.